um, are you on your journey and sharing it? Like, are you a positive influence for people to follow? It's, it's kind of part of the job. Like I think of it as part of my job. My workout is part of my job and eating healthy is part of my job. Yes, this is a lifestyle. So hurrah, I can have a glass of wine on the weekends and I can, you know, I can go on and enjoy myself and I have the tools to get back on track. But in general, I'm always trying to better myself. So if you're at your goal weight, awesome sauce. That's great. What's your next goal? Get another program, gain more strength. Like for me right now, I don't think he's done. I'm nowhere near where I want to be as far as what the scale says. And I know that doesn't mean anything, but just doing body beast for six weeks, my, my arms are like, starting to chisel out right like I'm not showing pictures of my ass I can tell you that because that is not chiseling out yet <laughs> but of course my pictures are showing my arms because they're starting to you know I get messages every single day about my arms like it's multiple messages that's what people they see that they see it and they want it they may not want to do the work that I'm doing when I tell them what I'm doing but it starts a conversation. So the proof has to be there. This is a blend. I know we push messages and that, that is what this is. That's one of the secrets, but it's the blend of what you're doing in your real life and then sharing it. And you can, it's easy to sit there and share and eat healthy. You've got to be proof that you that you're, that's what you're doing. You have to have the proof that you're exercising. It was, I didn't miss a day of exercise. I, I haven't missed a day of exercise since I started coaching, but there's been times that I've just been exercising and not eating healthy. So the proof was not in the pictures. The proof of the lifestyle has to have the combination of everything. So that's just something to think about. How were your messages? So, you know, this is about reflecting back on the month. I would say go back now that you have a clear head. This is a new month and go back into your messages and really read them. Were you being too salesy? Did you ask connecting questions? And Elaine, I'm sorry, I didn't post those messages this life is a little bit insane for us right now but like connecting questions are like do you have any kids um do you work how much time would you you know like getting to know you questions getting to know the person so you can figure out their pain points so do you have any kids leads to no uh, you know i don't Okay, so we don't, you know, she's not busy with kids. Well, oh, okay, do you work? You work outside of the home? Yeah, I'm gone. I travel every day. I'm in my car every day. There, Heidi was a perfect, I'm going to use your story when we met Heidi. So no kids. So we didn't have that in common. Okay, so where do you work? Like, what do you do for a living? Well, she was in insurance, right? Yeah, insurance um, in her car. Okay. So I went with that, like, okay, this is awesome. Like 30 minute workouts are gonna be so easy. Shakeology, you can just shake up. I will help you figure out how to take a cooler in your car, because that's what I do when I go to lunch. Like, even though I wasn't traveling for work, I could say to her, when I go to London for the day, I take my cooler with my 21 day fix stuff in. So let's, let's figure that plan out for you. You gotta dig to figure out what the, what that excuse is going to be back you know the woman at home with four kids is going to tell you every single time that she's too busy she already gets up too early and she's way 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 too busy she's the busiest woman in the whole wide world with four kids at home so you need to tell her well i know someone that has four kids and she gets up every day and this is how we can make this work this is how i can help you you have to at first figure out those questions. So I think you need to go back and look at your messages and really think, 
maybe I didn't ask enough. Maybe I didn't figure out what her struggle really, really was. Because we can help with anything. I mean, even if they say they can't afford it, that's when I drop the coaching opportunity. All right, well, how about getting healthy and making money at the same time? What do I have to lose? What are they, what are they gonna say? No, all right, like, okay, no problem. Let's talk about something else. Like, what do I have to lose, really? If they come back to me and say, I can't afford this, well, I have another option. I'll help you not, you know, pay, get that investment paid back. I would much rather use that first before I use that 30 day money back guarantee. I do from time to time use the 30 day money back guarantee, but I feel like anything like that just cheapens our product. It's like sale discount. Like I freaking hate those words. And it, it's because I'm a, business owner. I hate those words. I think they just lessen the value of your product. I just don't like them at all. I mean, you guys do what you do, whatever, but that kind of stuff just feels cheap to me. So I would rather come to a person with the coaching opportunity before I say, well, don't worry if you drink 30 servings of Shakeology and still hate it, you can send the bag back. Okay. Like I, I just don't love how that sounds, but I mean, if you get down to their, their questions, we have answers for pretty much everything. You just have to have the confidence to ask, you know, to give them those solutions. So uh, what I need you to do is take a little bit of time today, go back to your social media. Were you posting with purpose or were you just posting fluff all month long? Were you inviting? Were you doing your jabs, 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 and then hooking? Were you inviting to anything? Same with your messages. I think there's a lot of really awesome connectors, but we often forget to invite at the end because we're, we're missing that confidence piece. You've had this conversation for days and days and you've spun around kids and trips and work and everything. And then you've never, ever, ever asked them to join your challenge group. And I am not pointing fingers. I have done all of these things. I still do them from time to time. Like I have to check myself. I think I would hope that all of you today will sit, reflect, and then make your goals for this month. It's so important to write down those goals, what you want to achieve this month. This month, I mean, with this spring into whatever, spring into health, this package, it's incredible. Like for basically $87, Canadians are getting a bag of Shakeology and the fixed portion program. Like it's $99 to get Beachbody on demand no matter what. For 87 more dollars, they are getting a value of, I don't know how much the fixed portion control program is. Is it about $50 maybe? Canadian? About 50? And Shakeology, what, is 183.95 for a Canadian? Like it's inc incredible value. Plus they're gonna get you for a year. So, I mean this, there's like zero excuse this month, I think. I mean, I don't know, but um, I think this is gonna be a great month for really, really helping people and getting to your goals. And, and the bottom line, yes, that's what we wanna do. That's why we're all coaches. We want to help people. We wanna help them get fit. We want the accountability for ourselves. Like it's okay to also say, uh, but I wanna get to my goals too. Like, I think we skirt around that a lot. We're like, oh, you know, we're helping people and we're coaches out of love. And that's awesome. That is awesome. Of course, that's what we want to do. That's our, like our job. But it's also okay to get to your goals and work hard and get to them. It's okay to have a big goal and really, really work to get towards it. You know, that, that's okay. It doesn't mean like you're money hungry. It means that you want your business to succeed. 
You know, like Christy, you have a business. Do you want it to succeed? Do you do everything in your power to make it succeed? I know I did for my hair salon. I did everything. And then this is the same. I think of it as a business. So set your goals, set your intentions and reflect. Don't reflect to beat yourself up. Just reflect. Just go back with a clear mind and look at your messages, look at your posts and look at yourself. Look at your own journey and see, okay, maybe I need to get a, get a new program and refocus. Maybe I need to join my coaches challenge group to get myself back on track. You know, if you're not feeling great about yourself, maybe it's time to refocus because it'll reflect in your posts. Michelle. Yeah. Um, one thing I just wanted to share with everyone um, that really helped me this month. Um, well, last, I guess last month for this month is I never invited to, and I don't know why, like, I feel like it's such an idiot sometimes when I discover things. I'm like, why did I do this from the beginning? Um, I started inviting to a free, my free group. And I always thought inviting was invite to my challenge group. And so I would just invite to a challenge group. And then when somebody would say, no, you know, that's fine. Then, then I would maybe um, look at putting them in a free group. But this last month I invited to, intentionally to my free group. And it's, I have like over 60 people that have just been hanging out in my support group that I've never really gotten anything out of them in the past, but now I've invited them to my free group. So now they can see what I'm really going to, the value that I'm really going to show them in a challenge group. Um, and I'm now, now they're in like, now I have no, I don't feel icky about inviting them to a challenge group as kind of the what's next. So if you're like me and you haven't been inviting to a free group before, like get on that. I don't, it, I feel like such an idiot that I've wasted like two years not doing this, but, um, and I was kind of in the past, like, Oh my God, my free group only has 10 people in it. Like this is shitty. Like, why am I not getting, like, why am I not filling these groups? And I would put ads in and like, I didn't need to be spending that money. All I need to do is just freaking ask people. <laughs> such an idiot <laughs> anyways I just thought I'd share that you are not an idiot but it's it's true like not that you're an idiot you're not an idiot <laughs> inviting though I mean we say it all the time and it's like I feel like people don't hear me like did I not say did I speak a different language like invite to anything you can invite to I feel like if I can get that person in my group we're good we're good like if I will take anyone, that's why when I say, if they already have the 21 day fix, I don't care. Come on in. Like, as long as you're not happily working with another coach, I always use that little disclaimer, come on in, join my group. Absolutely. Because I, you're going to be a coach someday. Like now that's my purpose for you. Like you already have the program. You like Shakeology. Awesome. Perfect. You know, like I just, if I can get them in my group, we're good. Cause then, then we build this relationship, trusting relationship. We get to know each other. They see me on my videos and like, it just all happens. So fight inviting to a free group is so easy. Like it's free. Like who wouldn't want to do that? I, I do have people that don't want to, but when I was really trying to fill free groups all the time, that's, that's what I did. And now that's what I do with this free, um, recipe thing. Like I just, freaking send it out to anybody. Anybody that has kids, I just say, you know, I'm, I, you're probably looking for healthy recipes. I hope this helps. And they, like some of the, most times they get back and say, this is so awesome. Thanks so much. And like anything that you can give to people, that's how you're going to build a relationship with them. So thanks Heidi, because I do think you, it's just like I said this on a live video yesterday, personal development, it's all the same message. <laughs> it's all the same shit. It's just in a said a different way in a different book. And it, this book resonates with me and this book resonates with you, right? Like it's all the same information. So I can say, invite, invite, invite every team call. And maybe it's just one certain way I say it one day that it clicks with you, right? So it's not, I think that happens all the time. Like just different things click at different times in your business. And 
but that's a good point because hopefully that clicked with someone else. <laughs> okay. So, um, the next point I want to make, I think it's super important that everybody's tracking their stuff. So this is a fresh, clean day, April 1st. If you are not tracking, if that is your weakness, that should be your goal this month is like tracking is so important. Teamsy, pen and paper, whatever you want to do, but tracking is really, really super important. Um, we have like files and different like fall or what are those tracking sheets? But honestly, right now the new business activity tracker from Beachbody just go into your back off like your coach online office. They've just redid it. I posted it in the team page. Get that. Print it off if you're a pen and paper person. It's awesome. If you do that kind of stuff every single day and you're consistent with that, you're going to see success. But you have to track it. You know if. It's interesting to see at the end of the week when you're tracking where you've gotten off, off base. Third thing, and this is going to get the eyes rolling, but I think it could make a big difference in everybody's business. Does anybody know what I'm going to say? Can anyone have a guess? Unmute yourself and tell me what you think. Post on your personal page. That's part of it. It gets worse. Get a like page. Run an ad. No Do live like. videos. Oh. <laughs> live I just did videos. one. How's everybody feel about that? So I know, I know. Lots of people aren't comfortable and everyone is like their stomach just went into like almost convulsions hearing the word live video. I, if do most of you follow me, I'm sure you can see that I'm like live videoing all over the place and it's, it's on purpose, purposely for you to see that I'm doing it and also for my own business and it's, it's changing it. I am talking to people I've never talked to before and they know me already. So the connection part happens really quickly. Now, I know that a lot of our team has built their business in these support pages. And like, I get it. I get that that's a very comfortable place to be. I get that it's a funnel that we can, and our whole team has kind of built themselves on that. I will say to you in my honest, I've done a lot of reflecting these last three months on my three years. My biggest regret is staying off my personal page. I, that is my biggest regret. I now feel like I have wasted a lot of time and a lot of energy and now I can't get out of it. I have 2,800 people in a support group and I have to always post in there now. And I have a like page and I need a like page because I need to run ads at this point in my business. I do feel it's super important for everyone to have a business page. The sooner you start one, the better. I know that seems overwhelming to have a couple pages, but if you even just get one started and post on it once a day, you will be able to run an ad eventually. That's the only place on Facebook you can run an ad. And I promise you, if you think you're going to be here in a couple years, you're going to need to run an ad. We can talk about running ads anytime, but running ads is not going to make you successful. <laughs> like, don't think if you just run an ad, everything's going to happen because that's not what running ads is about. Running ads is about building up your network of people. It is not about selling things. So if, if in your mind right now, you're thinking, perfect, I didn't hit success cloud because I'm not running ads. That is not even remotely true. Running ads is to get people, hopefully as your friend, if you're using your personal page or into your support group, if that's where you choose to run your business. Um, 
since I've been using my personal page, basically all the time, my business has grown. I've got more coaches. I've had people out of the blue kind of messaging me. Um, so I've been able to add more people into my support group. Like now I feel kind of stuck. I'm not going to give up on my support group. It's a place that I can build some good relationships, but I'm basically just cross posting. It's not like it used to be. My support group was where I had the good posts or the deep posts or whatever, like my comfort zone posts. Right now I just cross post. Like I've come to a point that I just, whatever, whatever goes on my personal page. Um, and my, my live videos, that's where, and it, I feel sick to my stomach every single time. Like even cutting apples this morning, I was nervous, but it's better when Delaney's with me, but <laughs> I still get nervous. So don't think I do them and I'm not nervous, but it has been like a big changer and the big teams, that's what they're doing. Everybody is doing live videos on their personal page. I've been put into like a mastermind and group and I'm lucky enough to have one of the top 10 Canadian teams in that mastermind. And that's what they're doing. That's why they are hitting those big numbers. Live videos has changed their business and it's not live videos in a private group. It's live videos, not in your challenge groups. Like, yes, do them in there, but on your personal page, that is where you're going to build relationships. And I mean, the simplest things get the best. You don't have to sit there and do anything deep. Like I watched one of these girls from my mastermind, one of her coaches, she told me she had a new coach who was really scared, but just decided to do this live video thing. Cause basically it's, that's what they tell them to do from day one. She did this video on coring apples, like with a, not with a knife, like with one of those Apple slicer machine, like, like a gadget, like a kitcheny gadget. She did it for two minutes. She freaking got like, it, it was crazy how many people saw this video and commented and like, it was the simplest thing. Like they're, it's not like they're doing anything magic. You saw in my support group today, I did a video as well. I just did part of my workout and then I did a tour of Beachbody on demand. So I know it's scary. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you what's working. Video, like you can spend all day crafting the best post in the world and it might not get seen. Like, you know, maybe 10 people will see it and like it and it's not really going to make as big of an impact because you can go on live video for like two minutes, one minute, and they hear your voice. They, they know your personality. Like, it's just so easy. I find it so much easier. It's every single time I'm nervous, but it just, it's like anything in this world, anything you do, as you do more of it, you get more comfortable. And now it's almost like an adrenaline rush for me because it's, I'm nervous, like crazy nervous. But then at the end, I'm like, okay, like that was, that was good. You know, I don't go back and watch them. I just, it's whatever my comfort level was at the end. Like that was fine. And the two or three people that think you're weird, do you really care? Like, are they paying your bills? <laughs> They're not paying mine. They've already left my page. You know, the people that make me feel nervous, they've already unfriended me. So I don't have to worry about them. You know, if people are that annoyed by you, they have the option of not watching your stuff. They can flip by it. So I know, I know, but... I thought this was a good month to sort of lay it out on the line and tell you what's really working for people that are hitting like success club 10. That's what they're doing. You know, they're, or they have big goals. If you have big goals of getting to diamond and getting to five star and all that stuff, it's not just going to happen. You have to step out of your comfort zone. I still do every single day. Like I have no intention of staying at, Five star diamond. I have a big intentions of getting way beyond that. So that means I have to step up my game every day, too. Like, don't think you guys are alone. I'm doing it too every day, doing something that makes me want to shift my pants. <laughs> okay, that's really all I wanted to talk about today. Does anyone have 
Shelby keeps telling me she did a live video. Yes, Shelby, you are great at live video. I've told you this many times. Like, you're silly not to be doing one once a day because you are a natural at it. So you want to take that and do it. Like, share your video, you know, or share your workout. Yeah, I kind of did like what you did this morning, just kind of like started at the end. I was going to kind of do the end of the Dirty 30 Extreme, but I can barely do it. So I didn't want to people see me struggle. That's the other thing. People want to see you struggle. Like yeah. you do not, the, I made the mistake in the beginning of starting all these live videos is of having like my notes and like, okay, I'm going to give five tips on how to get up early in the morning. Oh, fuck off. Like if I was watching that as a person, I'd be like, oh, I wish you would just shut up. Like people want to hear like, okay, I barely got dragged myself out. Actually, I hit the snooze a couple times, but then I did my five, four, three, two, one trick and it worked. You guys should try it. Like people want to see, or today I was like trying to get through insanity. Like I have no business doing insanity. That's ridiculous. But I threw it on this morning and thought, what the hell I'll share that. And then I can give them a tour of beach body on demand. Right. You know, like that's what I'm going to be talking about all month. So, but you don't want perfection. Like my best live videos are when I just throw it on. Like I have a bit of a topic or plan in my head. And for me, I'm now known for the, the motivation and building confidence and all that kind of stuff. So all I have to do is read half an hour of personal development every day. And then I do a live video about it. And then I tell them, and if you join my exclusive challenge group, you're going to get more of this because that's the people that are watching. So you always want to have your live video have intention as well. Like if I'm going to do cook a meal, I'm going to show them the containers or I'm going to tell them what containers this would, you know, fit into. And then I'm going to say, and in my challenge group, I share all these amazing recipes and more. And the, the girls in my challenge group today are making this like you're intentionally saying those words, right? that's how you add the value. That's how you sort of do a CTA. Like it's, it's kind of your post, but in a live video form and they just get to know you at the same time. They're not going to all be good. I mean, who cares? You can delete them off your page. Like really, if you start and just think, screw this, I'm not doing it. I can't. Well, just press stop and delete it. And the three people that saw it, <laughs> they're not going to care. Like, they've moved on to check out their next friend in their feed. Like they don't care. People have such low attention spans these days. They don't even give it another thought. How many times are you going live in your personal page? Like Once a day. day. Yeah. I'm, tr I'm trying. But uh, yeah, yeah, like I've been pretty, I think I've been pretty consistent the last couple of weeks. But like, so this morning I did like cutting Delaney's apple. Ooh, I made like, her breakfast. Um, yesterday I did like a coffee talk. So my coffee talk has been getting to be pretty popular. Like I get a lot of messages about my coffee talk and it's my personal development, whatever I listen to or read, I just talk about that. And I've like titled it coffee talk episode number 10. And, um, and then I did a couple recipes, like anything. I mean, if you guys just go look at Melanie Mitro, like all the top coaches, what have they switched? What are they doing all the time now? Live video, you know? So it's just food for thought. I mean, I get it. I get that it's that pay, even if you have a support page and you're more comfortable doing live video in there, I'm not saying that's where you should do it. I'm, I'm saying you should do it on your personal page. Please hear that message. But if that's where you're comfortable and that's going to get you started to be consistent and get brave, do it there. And then, because in my opinion, if you still want to run your page through that support group, which I think is fantastic, like Megan is doing amazing and that's where she's built her business. So I am not disagreeing. I think though, you can get a hell of a lot more people into your support group by doing live video on your personal page. You're just going to make the most connections on your personal page. That's where people can see stuff. 
So if I do a live video and Christy comments and I'm smart enough to comment right back to her in text, now my live video is prompted to her feed. So all of her friends see her stuff. And then if her cousin now likes it or comments it, comments on it or shares it, like I have people sharing my live videos. Like that's like gold. I can't pay for that to happen. So now it goes to everybody in their friends list. So I look through the likes every single day and I see all these people I'm not friends with. I can add them as friends. I can connect with them and then I can dump them. I dump everybody in my support group. So Michelle, is that not happening when we're doing live video on in our support group, even if our support group is like a public group? No, it will not have the same algorithm. No, absolutely not. A group is a group is a group. Like having your group public enables people to like share something to their page, but it just shares to their page. It won't go in a feed. See, like I don't, like I would totally move over to my personal page, but now I've had like over 1600 members in my support group that people have added people in and I'm, I'm not necessarily friends with them. So Oh, I'm not asking anyone to switch. I'm asking you to add. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not think, asking you to switch. I think I just need to start doing all of them then. Yeah. Like posting and yeah. like you've been doing. Yeah. Right? I mean, I, guys, I did that from like, I, I posted in a support group group and a like page from day one and I had a full-time job and a kid. Like, I mean, I, I wasn't less busy than anyone. I just did it. Like some days you just have to do this stuff. And now, yeah, I'm posting on three. Now I will say my like page is just more fun stuff. And I cross post. Like I do not worry one tiny bit about the five people that might see my post twice. I don't care. Most of the time, no one is going to see your post unless she's related to you and just loves you so much that she's like tuned in to every single page of yours. And that's my mom. Like she might see everything. No one else sees everything. Like understand Facebook. It, it is like moving so fast that people literally have to be online at that moment that you post or do a live video for it to be seen. What we want to have happen is have people comment on our stuff or share it. And then it stays live in Facebook for a long time. But if no one comments or likes it, it's gone. It's like gone, done, over, goodbye. Way so, down. Michelle, yeah. Michelle, so what I do, so when you say cross post, so I have my, support page and my like page and every morning I do the same post about my workout so yep. that's what you're saying by cross post right like this yep. so then I could do that same post and I'll put it on my personal page so basically I have the same post in three different pages and that's okay yeah that's what I do so that's how I kind of start my day because I find it easier to start my day like that but not worrying about trying to figure out two different posts right away and then from there I do different posts throughout the day Yep. And okay. I've been kind of experimenting because I've been like, I'm a real watcher. I have all the top coaches and I'm watching what they're doing. So some coaches share. So some coaches post on their personal page and then they share it to their business page. Other coaches post it on their business page and share it to their personal page. So I'm kind of trying to fiddle around with that to see if that works at all, if it's better to actually post, 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 like actually post it, like repost and not share. So I don't know the answer to that. They're all over the map. Rosa Friesen posts on her business page and then shares it to her personal. The Fitzpatricks, all of them post on their personal and then they share it to their business. I don't know. Don't know the answer. And then some of them post everywhere. What I will tell you is most teams do not have these support groups. <laughs> they are like, oh my God, you have a whole other place you have to post? Like, oh, you mean your challenge group? I'm like, no, this is just a, another group. They're like, whoa. So this is something different that's worked really, really well for our team. That, I mean, you can get very 
good, good, good success in the support group. So I think it's been a good, good thing. But if you're finding you're stalling out, it might be time to think about being a little brave and broadening that horizon. I think the support group is amazing for new when we start and we're nervous and we really want to have control over who's going to see our stuff and we can really you know get comfortable with coaching and get really into your warm market i think it's an awesome way to start because i have more coaches that do not want to post on their personal page than do so i love starting that way but i think we need to be very diligent in broadening our horizons if if your goals are big and so Michelle, for, for when you're onboarding a new coach, are you, has your approach to them been different yes. with a new coach in the last little bit? So now it's maybe get away from opening up a support page or is it still Honestly, to open up? It's, I, I have, I'll tell you what I'm doing onboarding. That's different. I am talking on the phone. Like you will not even believe. And I don't know if you guys have noticed how many Emerald coaches have popped up in the last little bit. And I believe that's why. So that was my weakness. I can admit it full heartedly. I, my communication skills online are amazing <laughs> in messenger. They're rock on, but on the phone, it's, it was something that I wasn't totally into. I think part of it was time. Like I felt like, Oh my God, I just don't have this time. Well, I don't have that excuse now. I have time to talk to people. So I'm talking to my new coaches, not only just getting them signed up and doing all of that, but after the fact, I am literally telling them to call me anytime. Every couple days we're talking and it just makes this whole thing so much easier. So I'm, I get to know them so well. I know where their comfort level is, so I know how to guide them. If they're ready to roll and they have goals, big goals, I am suggesting you use your personal page. Open up a private page, like a support group. I think it's a great funnel, but you can be really successful without this support group. You know, just using your personal page and having a business page. I'm gonna tell all my coaches, you know, as soon as you've hit success club a couple times, it's time for us to open up a business page. If not the first day, I opened a business page the first day. That's where I ran my business. So I got a little off track by telling you guys not to do that. I, I think I didn't want you to be overwhelmed, but at the same time, if you want this business to happen, so it all depends on who you're talking to. And I mean, like Jen, Kathy, you got like you guys have had business pages for a long time. So it all depended who I talked to. But if you want, if you have big goals, you're going to need a business page. So you might as well get one sooner than later and at least just post once a day in it. So, so Michelle, with your personal page, I guess it's safe to assume too, like it's public, like it's not private anymore. Because if you do private, then it's just the same people. Anyway, so it's a, you've changed it to public. Yeah. yeah, that'd be step one of a coach. You need your, like, if you aren't making your page public, even if you don't plan on posting on it, you're crazy because no one's going to be able to find you. You need to rethink coaching if you think your page needs to be private. I realize there's kids' pictures that you maybe don't want everybody to see. Well, make a private album on your public page. Um, Michelle, I, this is funny that we're talking about this because I did a whole call with my team for like an hour and a half on Thursday night about this. And this is like sort of everything that we talked about, but what I sort of came to the realization a few weeks ago, cause I, like, I've never been comfortable posting on my personal wall. That's why I started a group. And to be honest, if there wasn't that option, I probably never would have started as a coach like 100%. So for me, that is what I had, I, that is what I had to do. But now, you know, and I know you've been posting on your wall and it's something that I've wanted to start doing, but it was just the comfort level. But then when I started to really think about it, we, if you are doing what you should do as a coach and that's sending out friend requests every day, what do you think those people 
are doing. As soon as they see a friend request from you, they are going to your page, your profile page, and they are looking at you to see who is this and why are they friend requesting me. So if people were to go look at my profile page three weeks ago, they wouldn't have seen anything exciting. They would have seen like kind of just a lot of garbage, pretty much. Like nothing. I maybe threw a post on about my kids every once in a while, but a lot of the times it was just things people had tagged me in, nothing that said at all what I do. And if you are doing what you should be doing, people need to be able to tell right away that you are a coach, that they have something that they can join of yours, that you have a business opportunity, and that they should know something about you that makes you unique and that makes them sort of intrigued and attracted to you. So if your personal profile has none of those things, you're friend requesting people and it makes absolutely no sense because they're seeing nothing. So when I sort of like realized that, I was like, oh my God, it's totally true. If someone went to go creep me, there's nothing there at all. So I started doing it only a couple weeks ago and it like scared the shit out of me. And I sort of did a little grand opening post, even though I've been a coach for two years, I did that little grand opening post on my personal page. So it's sort of like, I felt like I could now start posting there. It wasn't like this random thing I started doing. So I mean, like you, we just have to be, if, if we're sending friend requests out, we can't be like these little closet coaches anymore in these support groups that are hidden from the rest of the world and no one has any clue what we're doing. Yeah, I had a really embarrassing mastermind call, my first call. So first of all, what Megan said is right. Within the first three seconds of someone becoming your friend, they go to your personal page. It's a proven, like proven statistic. So we're on this mastermind and another fellow coach, five star said to me, how have you got to five star? I creeped your page. Like, are you doing all of this by phone? She like legit called me out in front of like, 12 other like highly ranked coaches and then I had to go into the song and dance of well you know I started a business page and I have a great business page and I do this all in a support group and they looked at me like okay like they honestly thought it was just totally ridiculous totally ridiculous I felt like the biggest idiot I mean I said at the our no thank god our corporate guy was like whoa obviously it works like her whole team is being built she's five star like she's not a piece of shit on the street like it's working there's things that are working but it made me realize like oh my god and for me it was like oh wow other coaches are going to my page in the network and they're wondering like they're just not seeing what they should be seeing so that was what happened to me i guess that was right after my well, when the mastermind started in January. So that really made me think, and I had posted on my personal page, but nothing with, um, nothing with intention and nothing scheduled, like not every day I was tagged in a lot of stuff and I had done posts, but not, not intentional. So then I started going and looking at everyone else's and I'm like, Oh my God, like that, that's where they post everything. Like they don't care. They're not scared of, little one little person from Exeter that might think I'm silly. Like who cares? Like I'm far beyond those people. Like we're done, you know, like it's over. They're not, we're not even like, we're basically not friends really anymore. Like the people that freak me out, whatever they've long pat, like I've, we've long lost our relationship. And if they think I'm silly, then that's okay. Like we can all think each other are silly. No big deal. I know it's a while to get to that, but yeah, go ahead, Megan. Sorry, the same thing happened to me, and, and it was the, around the same time. It's because I was on a mastermind call, and it was me and this other girl, and I was, like, feeling kind of down about, like, I hadn't hit success club, and I went and looked at her. I started just to creep her because I'd been in this group with her for a couple months, and I went and looked at her personal page, which is what we all do, and if you think people aren't doing it to you, you're wrong. They are. 
And I was like, oh my God, she's rocking it. And I, I told Michelle, like it was the first time that I had ever felt that um, like competitive, like I compared myself and I've never done that in the business. And I totally compared myself to her. And then I thought, if I'm doing this to her, you can guarantee she, as soon as we got into this group together, she went to check me out because her and I are both like at the same point in the business. And I was embarrassed at the fact that maybe she went and looked at my page because she's not seeing like, yeah, I've got a great support group. Like I'm very proud of my group, but she doesn't know that. So she must have been wondering like, how in the hell is she even in this group with me? Like we are not on the same level at all because she couldn't see it. And the other thing about the group, like, I, I think they serve a really great purpose because you can really sort of hone in on who you're talking to and it's where it's like a comfortable setting for people, I think. So it, it does serve a purpose for sure. Um, but at the same time, if you're running a support group and you're not getting people into it and you're not hitting success club and you're not signing coaches and it's not working for you, then like do something different. Cause if you have been doing this for a while and it's not working, like it worked for me in the first month, it works for some of my coaches right away, but it doesn't work for everybody. So if it's not working for you, then stop doing it, like switch it up. You have to do something different. Cause if you've given it an honest effort for even a few months or six months or a year even, and it's not working, then just change it up. Like, there's nothing stopping you from changing it up. And I'm not saying like abandon ship, but you know, just, just really think about maybe changing things up a bit. Yeah. Like it's ridiculous to keep doing something over and over and over and over and over again, every single month and it not working, you know, like cross correct, like, whoa, that's what you would do in real life. Right. <laughs> like you wouldn't bake a cake a thousand times that didn't, work you would like figure out what shit is going wrong here so we can only give you like what's worked for us now i can give you like suggestions from other teams that are working but you've got to like really and that's why at the beginning of this i just want you to reflect okay what is going wrong i sent out 5000 messages and still didn't hit success club where am i going wrong so go and take an inventory of what's and try different things. And one thing I'm so proud of about myself is if I fuck something up, I don't dwell on it. I don't care. You know what? Like I've tried things with you guys, the team. I've tried stuff on my page. I've tried draws and like all different stuff. And if it doesn't work, I just move on. Try the next thing don't dwell on it don't get all sad about it like i'm such a failure nothing's ever gonna work no there's something out there that's gonna work there this business can work for anybody you just have to be brave enough to try some different things what's worked for me what's worked for megan it's maybe not gonna work for you so go find your way that's what i did i didn't have anyone telling me anything so i had to find my way and some stuff worked and some stuff didn't. We can give you the tools, but you have to find your path and what you're comfortable with. Christy, I see you're terrified. You need more personal development, my dear. Yeah. I mean, it, sorry. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Um, you just do. That's what's going to give you that confidence. I mean, you look amazing. You have done, you've worked so hard. You should be so freaking proud of yourself. And people compliment you just for saying, yeah, well, you could have this too. <laughs> I mean, I get it. I get the fear. Like, I still feel it. But what I do is I just, five, four, three, two, one it. I just do it. I, I feel lots of fear lots of times. But I just, like, close my eyes and just do it. It gets easier. It really does. After you start doing that, it gets a lot easier. You should get that book, Christy, by Mel Robbins. Um, I'm, I'll send it to you. I'll send you the link. I haven't even read the book, but I've been listening to her podcast, 
And do you know that name, Mel Robbins? She's a CNN news lady. Yeah. But anyways, I'll send you the link because I think that would be good for you. Yeah, it's one of those things where I'm realizing that, huh, yeah, they're noticing what I'm doing and I'm having vendors even coming up to me and, oh, yeah, every time I see you post something, I, would, I just want to go out and work out. But I'm shying away from it rather than kind of, oh, I should actually have you join me doing this. And it's, I don't know, it's one of those big things. And you see your, your colleagues are starting to notice what you're doing and, yeah. Maybe those are the ones I have to kind of cater to. You know, one of my biggest regrets now that I'm done work, I never talked about Beachbody at work. Like I refused. Now my reason for that was I didn't want my girls thinking that we could all just run another business at the salon. Right. So it, there was, that was part of it. But if I'm being honest, part of it was just one second. Part of it was, I was just really, shy talking about it in person and now I think oh my gosh I had 15 people a day in my chair and they were all women and they were all insecure about something I could have helped them with something I never asked anyone to join my team like oh anyways it's a regret but you know we learn from those mistakes I, I wouldn't make that mistake I don't regret it enough to go back to cutting hair though I Look at what color ring pop I got. Yeah. See? Delaney's having a ring pop at 10 in the morning. Awesome. <laughs> Sorry, I interrupted someone. Was that Elaine? Yeah, I just had a question. It was kind of off topic, but about your personal page again. So if somebody's liking something on your, your per personal page post, is that now showing up that in their feed? That they you know what I mean like is that showing up on other people's feed that they like something so then your post is coming up on yeah like I don't think likes get as much traction as comments like that's why you really want them to comment but I've certainly just go look at your own feed like I've certainly seen Susan yeah. or Susan Moore my mom like she likes everything Susan yeah. Moore liked whatever recipe or Susan Moore liked this person's picture. You and you're not even friends with that other person, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's how like your personal page. Now, disclaimer, like do not be putting links and salesy shit on your personal page or Facebook will take you down. Like they do not want you selling stuff. So your personal page is solely for building relationships, solely for letting you know, people get to know you. That's what it's for. That's its purpose. And no one on this team better be posting links anywhere. I will, if I see it, I'll take you down because that is so gross. Okay. Ugh. We only share links in a private message. That is the only time we ever do that. Or salesy stock images. No, 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 no. We know how to take pictures and put fancy words on them. All right, any other questions? Is there a limit to the number of friends? Yep, you can only have 5,000 friends on your personal page, so that's why you need to have a business page started. Get it started right away. Like, I mean, I'm at close to 3,000 friends, so it, it takes a long time to get to 5,000, but a lot of top coaches, that's the problem now. So they're having to like go through their friends list and unfriend the fluff so they can add more. I'm nowhere near that, so. Michelle, I've been hearing a lot of like calls recently from other teams and they're sort of talking about groups, like um, like specific groups that they're starting up, like not free groups, but almost like support groups, but really specific to topics and inviting people in. Do you think that that's why they're doing that is because they're running out of friends on, like they're, they're looking for a more personal, thing to connect with people that they can't be friends with everybody anymore. So it's almost like we've done, we've started that. Yeah. Like, I'm just I know, all. Yeah. Rosa Friesen has like these fashion groups and mm -hmm. like, they're totally not related to Beachbody. So it's about building her tribe, right? Like finding people that are attracted to the same thing she is. I know she has like this big fashion group she started last year and she posts like, she really likes clothes, I guess. 
weird. Like she's not sitting around in her sweaty workout gear. I don't know what's wrong with her. She actually showers. <laughs> Anyways, she loves like makeup and all that stuff. So she has this group that she, I think she says she shares, um, like one tip a week or something or where to buy something. Like she'll buy something new and she'll, it's all about fashion and makeup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The one I listened to yesterday, it was, it was a mom. And so she opened a group and it was called the hot mom express. And so what she did is she just invited her people, her friends in, and she posted a link on her profile that if anybody wanted to join and she encourages other people to add their friends in. So it sounds like something similar to what, how we started our business yet. It's not just her, her story in there. It's just a community. It's like what Justine just did. Yeah. 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 Very similar to that. So I feel like it's almost a way for them to start connecting with more people in a personal level without being friends with them because they can't be friends with everybody now. Yeah. Like I think Anita Myron was the first person I saw that had 5,000 friends and she was scrambling big time. Like it, it took her a lot of rebuilding because then she had to start totally using her like page and so, I mean, it happens, but it's a little while, a little while away, 5,000 yeah, for sure. I just think that, oh, go ahead. Can you share what Justine just did? Well, Justine can maybe share it. Are you there, Justine? I just saw her unmute herself. Are you there, Justine? Maybe not. Um, so Justine, I, she opened a group and is it really focused? It's really focused on new moms. She's, she wrote like an invite in her support group. I'm not sure exactly where she did it. Um, oh, her microphone doesn't work. Okay. Megan, do you know more details? Like, was it specifically breastfeeding moms or just mom, new moms? I can't remember. I think it was just, um, it was just new moms that she wanted to get into the group and, I feel like they were going to all use Beachbody on demand, I want to say, but it was just sort of a support group for new moms and where they could all share their own little journey. Yeah. Hey, Justine, would you mind um, maybe do, like sharing your post in the Team Fitnique page so we can see it? I'm sure she'll say yes. Yeah, she will. Okay, so she'll share it there. Okay. Okay, guys, I can take like a couple more questions. I don't want to keep you guys too long. I have all day, but you might not. <laughs> Everybody just racing to get on their personal page. I can feel it. <laughs> okay. Have a good weekend. Oh, Carrie Cotton. Are you still there? Yes, I am. Okay. You have to tell us how yesterday was before we go. Uh, it was pretty amazing. <laughs> I was so nervous, I was so scared, but I was so excited. And the more closer I got to that phone ringing, the more excited I got. I've done so many interviews. It's one of my favorite things to do. But like just the fact that I was able to talk to Autumn was amazing. Like to hear that phone ring and hey, hey Carrie, it's Autumn. <laughs> and we just chatted for like 12 minutes and four seconds. And um, <laughs> the interview is on my personal page and I shared it now <laughs> with my support page and my like page and um yeah it was cool I could have asked her so many more questions okay but I had what was the best question like what was one highlight question uh, I think uh, the highlight was just sharing and having fun with her like admitting I had half a chocolate bar in the car <laughs> and just talking about real stuff and getting her to laugh like yeah. I just I appreciate that so it was fun that's awesome. Well, that's, well, that's like your claim to fame, man. That's so cool. Then yeah. you obviously told her that you were a coach and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure. I failed to say the coach. I said I was with Beachbody for a year and a half, <laughs> but I was nervous. Right. So it was hard. Yeah. I, yeah. Just, I had so much I wanted to say, but it was for a radio interview and I had to keep it mm -hmm. about the program and what we were working on. So it wasn't about me and that was really hard to leave out. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. Okay. Have a good, oh yeah. Terry says you need to friend request her now. Oh gosh. <laughs> but she can't say no. I will. You're on her mind. Friend I will. She was pretty awesome. Okay guys. <laughs>
Have a good weekend. See ya. Bye.